It's your boy, Trader Main, back here with another video of the altcoin series. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these videos. If you look at most altcoin charts, you can probably imagine why. This video is going to be a really short one. What I'm actually going to do is go over to the other screen and I'm just going to open up the altcoin list of the altcoins that we have been checking in previous altcoin videos. And you can just kind of see how things have progressed over the last month plus with Bitcoin selling off hard and the resulting damage to altcoins. Because one thing that I want to focus on is, well, while there is asymmetric upside to some altcoins during the bull run, they outperform Bitcoin, they go ham, we have alt season. It's the same in the reverse. Altcoins will fall even harder. Just because something's down 90%, it can go down 90% again and again and again. Another thing I want to kind of touch on is what might be the future for a lot of these new altcoins that we saw come about in this last bull run. Really what I want to show you actually is coin market cap because I've been around for three cycles now. And if you go look at the top 10, 20 coins in 2000, 2013, I think maybe two or three of them still existed in 2017. And then maybe a handful of those still existed in 2022. And of those coins, for example, that survived 2017 and made it to 2022, those usually, for the most part, massively underperformed the new hot coins that came out in this last bull run, the DeFi's, the metaverse tokens, etc. Hopefully this video is enlightening to some of you. I'm not saying all of your coins are going to zero, except for probably a lot of them are. It doesn't mean you can't make money while things are going down or in coins that might not go back to all time high again, but I just want to kind of, it's just kind of a cautionary tale. I hope you find this video valuable. Do leave some comments below on, you know, what coins you might want to see me cover for the next video. This video is in partnership with Prime XBT. So you guys know I've been working with Prime for a while now. It's an exchange that I actively trade on. Right now we're running a new promotion. So same information as usual. Use the link in the description. Use the code MAIN50. And this time you can get up to $7,000 in deposit bonuses on any money you deposit into your trading account there. The one thing you have to make sure that you do when you set up the account using the link in the description, please do that first. Before you deposit any money, you're going to want to enter the promo code main 50. After you've done that, then when you deposit the money, you're eligible for those bonuses up to $7,000 USD. So shout out to the Prime team. All right, guys, over at this camera now. So wanted to talk about some altcoins real quick, like I mentioned in the first part of the video. So we're just going to go rapid fire. So you can see kind of the carnage we've seen. So basically, since my last altcoin video, which was, you know, near the start of April, Bitcoin has fallen 37%. We'll use this week of April 4th as kind of our delineation line. And then we're gonna look at all coins and see how much more they potentially have dumped than Bitcoin. And then we're gonna get into my thing around coin market cap. I want to show you with the longevity of a lot of altcoins and why you gotta be very careful just being like, hey, this coin did well last cycle. It's bound to do well next cycle. I think the time to buy altcoins is when the whole market is gearing up for a bull run. Everything is looking bullish you want to get on those new coins that are innovative or whatever. They got a lot of hype, whether it was DeFi summer, whether it was, you know, the metaverse movement, gaming movement, getting in those runs and those ecosystems early generally are the ones that are going to pay off. But just because something did well in one cycle, it doesn't mean it's going to do well in the next. A lot of these coins launch and then get these crazy valuations and reach these crazy prices that are just not really realistic to ever get back there. Not to mention all the bag holders from above who are holding and looking to sell. So just because you like a coin and it's down a lot doesn't mean it can't go down a lot further doesn't mean it's gonna rally as hard as other new coins might in the next bull run and uh, it doesn't mean that you should just start dollar cost averaging because it's down 70 percent just because it's down 70 percent right we might be down 60 percent from all-time high if you bought right now and we go back to 20k you're down another 36 percent that's already over a hundred percent you're like oh but that's not possible you can only go down a hundred percent like that's not how the math works we could go down another 60 percent from right now so you could have bought all-time high sold now been down 67 percent you could buy now and if we go to 10k you've lost the same percentage as the person who bought all-time high and sold now versus buying now and selling on another potential drawdown right so let's look at ftm complete full retrace do i believe phantom might rally again in the future maybe i don't know will phantom ever get back to 350 i have no idea is it at support now potentially could bounce doesn't mean you can't make money in a bear market playing altcoin rallies and bitcoin rallies. But when you want to be buying these alts are when Bitcoin and Ethereum are at support and showing bullishness. Because if Bitcoin is going to have a bear market rally, which could be 10, 20, 30, 40%, very common. That's when you want to get in these alts that might have big bounces in that same time period, right? But week of April 4th, 
Bitcoin down 30 something percent. This is down over 80. Solana, do you believe in Sam? I talked about this being where I think real support is. I thought this was BS, right? That was a nice rally. Doesn't mean you can't make money longing there, but how did it end? Another lower low. So if we rally from here, does that mean we're going all time high or potentially just putting in another lower high, right? Again, week of April 4th, this thing's down over 70%, much more than Bitcoin. Could this have another rally in the future? Absolutely. Could this make all time high again next cycle? Absolutely. But we don't know for sure. You don't know for sure. I'd rather wait for either much more discounted prices. And what I mean by that is like most alt, like Ethereum in the last bear market went down 95%. So if Ethereum can go down 95%, why are you buying something that, yeah, it's down 85%. What's 95%? Let's just do the math. It's down 85% now. 95% would be back at, let's just say $12. From here to $12 is another 75% drawdown. So it doesn't mean that you can't start dollar cost averaging into alts you like and you might believe in. Just be aware, things can get way worse. And just because it's down a lot from all time high, you're like, it's down 85%. How much more can it go down? Well, to get down another 10% from all time high is another 75% from now. So that's down a lot. I mean, obviously Luna, speaks for itself. XMR looks better than some other coins. Still, let's see, April 4th. Here's the April 4th price. Still dropped 50% from that April 4th week. KNC, 80% drawdown from that week. Yeah, it bounced. Look, huge bounce, 160% bounce. Doesn't mean you can't make money on the way down, but is KNC ever gonna get back to $5? I don't know. Near April 4th week, down 70 plus percent. Waves, I mean, this one is fucking crazy, but almost 90%. Phil, this looks awful. 70%, right? So all coins across the board decimated. Now let's look at something like XRP. Huge community, tons of community members talking about, oh, this is going to be used as payments. They're going to win the court case. Here's how much is down since April 4th. 60%. And if you bought XRP during this bull run, this was last bull run, it went to 350. So if you bought XRP at the COVID low, yeah, it did 1600%, but Ethereum did more than that. Gaming tokens, DeFi did so much better. So this is what I mean by like, just because you like a coin, it doesn't necessarily mean it didn't, it still pumped this bull run, but it didn't pump nearly as hard as the new toy, you know, the new flavor of the month, not even close. And it didn't even come close to making it to its all time high. This episode of the altcoin series is sponsored by the Digital Bits community. So Digital Bits is an easy to use open source blockchain used to power digital assets, NFTs, currencies, stable coins, etc. Digital Bits is a layer one blockchain protocol that prioritizes security, speed, and cost savings. Any asset can be tokenized on the Digital Bits blockchain. This includes NFTs that are created by artists, celebrities, and sports organizations. What they've done is created a system that allows for micropayments to be efficient and cost effective. Digital Bits provides the foundation for real world mass adoption of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. Digital Bits is the blockchain for brands and it is entirely focused on building a cross marketing ecosystem where Fortune 500 companies can engage with their consumers via digital assets built on its blockchain. Digital Bits blockchain is optimized for seamless issuance, movement of assets capable of processing over 10,000 transactions per second with three to five second confirmation times. And they're able to do all of this with extremely low fees. Digital Bits blockchain leverages an established network of node validators that ensure network security and integrity. Digital Bits based NFTs require no smart contracts. Digital Bits have already signed the likes of David Beckham and Francesco Totti as global ambassadors. They're also partnered with Inter Milan and Roma. There's more exciting announcements to come and the exclusive David Beckham NFT his first NFT release and the XDB token currently available on KuCoin and there's more exchanges coming soon. This is a project with huge potential. Join the Telegram for the latest updates, AMAs, news. I'll leave all of that information below. Thank you so much to the Digital Bits team. Let's get back to the video. So what I wanna show you here is, this is a great thing to check out. So you can actually go see prices, market cap, and all that thing of all these coins. So let's go look at the all-time high month of the 2013 bull run. Outside of these top three coins, do you recognize any of the top 20? Be honest. Bitcoin, Litecoin, XRP. Both of these still exist today, but if you bought either of these in this last bull run, you massively underperformed Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the entire market. Peercoin, Namecoin, all of these trash. Let's look at 2017 
all-time high month. Do you recognize anything outside of the first handful here? Bitcoin, Ethereum, the two mainstays, XRP's there, Litecoin, Monero, Ethereum Classic. Yeah, these are still around, but if you bought Monero, Litecoin, XRP, Ethereum Classic, or any of those, you don't know what any of these are. Dogecoin, sure. Wave, sure. But if you bought 16 out of these 20 in the last bull run, you underperform the entire bull run. You underperform Bitcoin, you underperform Ethereum, and you underperform pretty much all new coins in the space. And then let's look at this most recent bull run, right? 2020, let's go to 2021, May. Okay, so Bitcoin right around all time high, Ethereum, BNB out of nowhere, right? XRP is still there, Cardano, Poke, Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, you know what these coins are now. They're fresh in your memory. Are any of these going to outperform the new cycles, you know, Solanas and Stellars and whatever? I don't know for sure. Yeah, Monero is still here, right? Some of these you're starting to recognize, right? You're like, okay, well, I remember these from the last one. But most of these ones that you remember that were in the 2017 snapshot underperformed all of the new coins in this most recent recent bull run. So if you're looking today saying, okay, well, what are the top coins? What are the chances? Avalanche, Polkadot, Poly, Near, these newer coins, Solana, BNB. I mean, yeah, Solana. Okay. Well, you got FTX, you know, Sam, this, you got CZ, probably a good bet that those ones might survive and become blue chip. But a lot of these layer ones, gaming tokens, metaverse tokens, DeFi tokens, they're gonna go to shit. I promise you. I, I don't promise you. I don't know for sure, but that's just my opinion. So you gotta be careful. Just because something pumped once doesn't mean it's gonna pump again. Oftentimes, the new coin that doesn't have pre existing bag holders from a previous cycle, new narratives of shit, those are more likely to outperform. So I'm not saying you shouldn't dollar cost average into coins when things are down, but keep in mind there may be new, better coins that replace them. These communities might fall apart. They might no longer build. They might become dead coins. They might never reach reach that previous all time high level, and they're probably going to underperform the new flavor of the month. So just keep that in mind. And then the math thing I showed you just because it's down 80%, it can go down another 80%. I'm not saying don't dollar cost average, just saying be smart about it. If you don't think the bottom on Bitcoin is in why buy altcoins now if you think Bitcoin's going to drop to 20k, you shouldn't be buying altcoins right now unless it's just for a quick flip. So I don't mean to be all doom and gloom. Hopefully that is educational a little bit, you know, let me know what you want to see for future videos. Obviously, the market dynamics is changed. We're clearly in a bear market, as I've been saying for months now. So, you know, I'm not going to be targeting all time high on coins. You know, there's going to be interday trades, both to the upside and downside. But, um, you know, maybe I'll bring some new content to you guys. I don't know what you want to see. I'm going to be here through the bear market with you guys, try my best to guide you through this, help you all survive because that's the goal. Uh, but yeah, leave some comments below what you'd like to see. We'll go from there. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. I didn't mean to be too doom and gloom and try and tell you that all your bags are going to zero, but I just want to be real with you, share my experience. Obviously, none of this financial advice. This is my opinion based on things I've experienced, things I've learned being in this market for almost 10 years now. If you have any questions, obviously let me know in the comments below, leave some likes, comments, turn on the notification bells, all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks so much.